Humanity has invented great things over the past few millennium, and we all may have our favorites as to what we think is the most important. Some may argue it's language, because without language, we couldn't be communicating with each other. We couldn't even be thinking clearly. Money. Without money, we couldn't be relating beyond the local level of those we know and exchanging and creating the, pros the enormous prosperity that's being created, unfolding in the world today, and linking humanity in unprecedented ways. Of course, technology we all think of. We live with it. We thrive on it. Without it, we'd be difficult to move or communicate uh, or run the world as it is today. But I would think that up with all of these, and I would even say beyond all of these, the most important, the greatest, most important invention that we have is, in, is education. Education is the instrument that we human beings have created over millennium to take the essence of all our past learning, all our past experience, organize it, consolidate it, systematize it, and pass it on to the next generation so that the youth can start off with the benefit of all our past experience rather than having to start from scratch, reinvent the wheel, and make all the mistakes that humanity has made in the past. And that means that those of you here, we have convened here, uh, leading educators who have been working in this field for decades, who are dedicated to improving this, uh, we have no more important task uh, before us. And as has already been mentioned by my colleagues, this is a great challenge. Maybe this is the greatest challenge, compared to which dealing in uh, particle physics and uh, artificial intelligence is simple compared with the task of how do we consciously evolve ourselves to prepare for a future which we don't know and we don't understand yet. I'm starting with this. I'm going to speak and address you in a few minutes. But I'm starting with this just to say to honor you and thank you all for coming. because. None of us come here with all the answers we need. But I think all of us come with serious questions, perplexing challenges, and an aspiration to do it better. We know we, can, we have to do more, and we have to do it better. And that's the purpose of this conference. Not for a few people to deliver talks, but for us to seed our ideas and suggestions and to open this for discussion. So I look forward, and we all look forward, to interacting with all of you, learning as much as we can, and formulating together new ideas for the future. I deeply thank all the organizations that have made this conference possible, the tremendous support we've had from the ministry, uh, Brazilian Ministry of Education, from UNESCO, from the Foundation Cesc Gran Rio, from the Brazilian Academy, of education, uh, without which we would not be here. Uh, but the real thanks will go to all of you who contribute to making this the, the most significant, important of the number of dialogues we've been having around the world so that we can carry messages and ideas from here uh, to other continents. Thank you.